Hi everybody, it's Tuesday and we want to show you our latest technique that I think you're going to love. A lot of you have dies and they cut out these really nice shapes, but we're going to show you something a little extra special that you can do with your die. Cut out a scallop circle, but we can also cut out a little card or a tag that's dimensional with the same die and I'm going to show you how to do it. And I've got my um, EK Success scoring board here and I'm going to just um, score about in the halfway across and I put my little score tool there and I fold it and then take your scoring tool and just kind of flatten down the crease. Now I've got my paper and it's creased and I'm going to lay my die so that it overhangs a little bit because I don't want to cut all the way through and it might be helpful for you to put a little piece of washi tape just to hold that in place. Check it out. I think this would be a really cute tag or you could put it on a card. Um, it could be your card. You could put it on the front of a card like this and put your greeting inside. Lots of options. But wait, we've got some more. Okay, now this is really cute and fun, but let's do one more thing with it. If you take your circle punch and you punch about halfway or so, what does this look like? It's a baby bib. Now we're going to show you how to make a heart. And this is a stitched heart die that we're using from Sunny Studio, which has three different sizes of hearts, and we're going to use the large we have our paper that's already scored and ready to go and crease. And here's the trick that I learned the hard This is a stitch die, so instead of doing it like this, the stitches are going to show on the top. So that means your card was going to open like this. So with a stitch die, you want to make sure that you overlap it on the left edge of the die with the stitches face down. If you down. forget to do that, no biggie, because you'll do it the next time. Stick a little bit of washi tape just to hold it in place. And then we're going to put her right through our big and shot. If it doesn't quite cut through, if you have an extra heavy paper, just roll it back the other direction. Reveal our special heart. We took the die off, and we've got a fun little heart-shaped card perfect for Valentine's Day or a wedding or for somebody special that you just want to say I love you. We made one out of red and we made one out of pink and then we attached them in the middle so we actually made a little Valentine booklet. You can do this with any of your dies at home that you can cut and leave the little bit hanging inside the die. Check out this snowman from Tim Holtz, how he opens up and you do that the same way. You make our snowman. And it's a little bit different type of die than what we just used, but it works just the same. I've got my folded cardstock, which is ready to go, and I'm lining it up so that a little bit of the snowman's side and his arm there are not going to cut through because the paper is not on that part of the die. Look at our snowman. Isn't he cute? It'd be really cute on the front of a card or as a card, or wouldn't these have been cute tags on your Christmas gifts? I think that would have been really adorable. Okay, we covered winter, we covered Valentine's Day with our heart, and of course we want to cover Easter because it's coming a little early this year. And we did the same thing with this bunny die. And um, again, it's one of the larger Biggs dies from Sizzix, and it's a Tim Holtz design, but it just shows you another way that you can use this technique. We made a little tag booklet here with a tag by folding it and um, here's another type of tag that again I think you could hook these together and make a fun little booklet also. Maybe you could put little pictures. How about this giant rabbit which you can cut this on our AccuCut Center and I'll show you. We're going to line it up so it sticks out a little right bit to our AccuCut machine. And look at there we've got a, a really cute little bunny shape that would make a really fun card. See all of our other shapes we have that you're welcome to come in and use that you could do the same thing with. Cut them flat or you can cut them dimensional. The most important thing is that you score your paper before you cut it and we're using the EK Success scoring board and it comes in two sizes. Happy crafting. Thanks for joining us and I hope you can get your dies out and do some experimenting with this new cutting method.